So my name is Jude Winwood. I am um, a co-director of When Women Gather along with my colleague Janet Rose and I'm a teacher and an ethnomusicologist as well. I, I've got a huge passion for cultures and music that comes from all over the world. Janet and I started When Women Gather um, a couple of years ago. It came out of a conversation where we both said that we don't have enough time to meet friends and to make new friends and to just socialise and just be together. And we've run a few successful projects in the community. There's a high proportion of women that have experienced feelings of isolation, feelings of loneliness throughout the pandemic, also situations of difficult relationships and domestic abuse. Five, Voices of identity. Six has seen a selection of world-class teachers presenting a series of lessons to um, women in Nottingham and nationally and actually internationally as well. So we've had drama with a, a Portuguese lady called Inesh. We've had Asif Q as well who's taught frame drumming. We've had Samba with Tatiana Woolley, a Brazilian fantastic choreographer. We've had belly dance with Janet Rose. Spaces for, for women like this are, are still very much needed. I'm 58 now and, and quite a few of the dancers are, are older as well. It's about having, you know, about being visible. It's about being heard and it's about having space and, and you know, being that big person. Everyone will know when they play an instrument and they, they, you know, they persevere with it. There's a light bulb moment that happens and then... I think dance in general gives people a sense of identity. When I'm teaching dance, I always say just feel it feel what you're doing more than trying to be caught up with the technique because then when you feel what you're doing you're more likely to express it better. There have been weekly creative workshops celebrating cultures from all over the world. It's been a huge logistical operation. We're not going outside, we're not meeting people outside but we're still doing something together. We're fed off each other really, it's been really really good. So we've actually had women attending our workshops. They've come over to into this creative project and been able to just take part in something. It's contributed towards their well-being and their own creativity. So what is your identity and how can you link that up with the dance that you're doing? <laughs> I was invited to deliver a 12 session project to bring Samba into the project, so that was really special to me, yeah. It's lots of fun and laughter, and I guess when you're at home, for a lot of us working from home, it was that you get quite excited, you know. I like to always have a laugh when I'm doing my project, so I am always like to make sure that everybody's having a lot of fun. We keep everything very light because what they're learning, Samba, can be very tricky. We all said, oh, we can't do it, we can't do it, and then we're just, we're just doing it. Just yeah, do it, we're just yeah. Doing it. <laughs> I think the highlight was to be able to make people stick with us for the duration of it, having fun, coming back, learning. We had a window into each other's kitchens. Yeah. 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 Something crammed in your kitchen where I found it because I've got quite long arms banging kitchen cupboards. And like that. So we immersed them into the whole culture so they could create an identity outside their bubble um, and then become someone else just for that little bit of time. Although Lynn was dancing like nobody was watching. <laughs> <laughs> and you never know, they might have come out and gone to work and gone like, oh, I feel really confident. And this is brilliant to have that capability of tapping into yourself and taking that out and translating to your own life. It's been really good learning to dance throughout the pandemic. Everyone's like mirror image when you're learning on Zoom. So like, when, when we're like, which way are we going? Are we going left? Are we going right? To be 24 seven with a partner, you know, I mean, that's, it's like, whoa, <laughs> give me some space. Yeah, that, that uh, <laughs> half an hour or so, up in the bedroom with the music on and him downstairs, it were a lifesaver. <laughs> I think at the time it was a really good way to engage with people and we still kept that connection going for them but also for me as well. When you've been by yourself and you've been so cocooned in to actually come out with a group of women and try new things together 
and not feel that anybody's going to be laughing at you and everybody's joining in. That's been amazing. I don't know what we'd have done without them, to be honest. Ballet dancing on Zoom was quite funny and interesting and challenging at times. Dancing in my bay window, my neighbours thinking, what on earth is she doing and why is she shouting? It's like you literally shake it off, shake yeah, yeah. off your... Anything about yeah. self. Yeah. Yeah. Inhibition. Yeah. <laughs> when you're there and you sort of like lose yourself. Yeah, you, and you don't everything, think all your cares and everything just go. You just go, don't you? Don't, you, you don't just go think with the flow. About anything else, that's just that's just what's on your mind, mind. isn't it? Nothing yeah. else. You, you totally give yourself to it. Yeah. And everybody's <laughs> motivating each other yeah. as well, you know. Encouragement. I'm a person who feeds off other people's energy, definitely. So it took quite a lot of getting used to, but at the time it was the tool that was able us to still get together. But you can't miss that human connection. If there's anything horrible going on at home or difficult or whatever, you can you, you just that's it. You go to dance, and you, you don't have to tell everybody about it or do anything. It's just you're there, and you can just let yourself go and dance. And to be able to do that, that's that's amazing, really. Yeah. To actually, you know, get the teaching for free is just fantastic. It's just been a fantastic opportunity and obviously, you know, to learn from Asif as well and the many, many rhythms that he knows, you realise that there's not just one drum in the world. <laughs> many people have different ways of learning. Some people have to hear, some people have to see, some people need like a, like a grid of how the rhythms are. So it's trying to get at the, the, the teaching from all different angles. Western music tends to be in 4-4 rhythm all the time and Moroccan stuff and, and Egyptian stuff so it can be tricky to get your head around the different rhythms. It's a completely different learning as well with Zoom but you do get used to it. You, you get used to seeing the delay, where the people are, how they're hitting. To work with people who can play at different levels and you know there's a real skill to be able to do that and for it all to come together so, so wonderfully. When people put their, their, their hard work in, because it's not just me teaching, it's, it's, the, it's the students learning and, and wanting to learn and wanting to practice. Just from a personal perspective, it's sort of helped me with a recent bereavement that I had. Um, so it's for my mental health, it's been wonderful. It's just really kept me going, basically. Well done. It's okay on Zoom, it's, it's great, but it's, it's nothing like, like live. I mean, it's so different doing something live and being physically with people. It's definitely better. Hugs, yay. <laughs> So what we've been doing this weekend is we've been celebrating um, what has been a uh, nearly a year-long combined arts project and we've had people from um, different parts of the country and they've come together today to um, celebrate what they've learned over this time. So finally we're meeting face to face, finally we're out, finally we are experiencing the dance, the energy of the dance together. So I think that is really special to be able to do that after we've experienced it online. To get to where we are now, to say that today was the first time we've met in person and drummed together, I mean, it's been fantastic. Oh my goodness, wow, what a day today. Well my God, it was just so lovely to come, meet up with people, hugging each other, kissing each other, just dancing with, with everybody, just shouting, just being together in a space and just smiling and beaming and beaming our energy all over the place. It's just been amazing. It just feels so much like a, a coming together of everything that we've, we've been doing. To bounce that sound off and be able to play different parts together has been great. Yeah. When you're at home, you just... You know, but when you're here and everybody else, you can really go for it and you bounce off each, each other and you like build on everybody else's energy as well. Yeah. And, and I must admit, today it's felt like a mini hand. Yeah. Yeah. And if you don't know what a handler is, it's a belly dance party. <laughs> <laughs> they just so behaving badly. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's just you, Rose. <laughs> <laughs>
dance and any exercise releases endorphins, but like, yeah, everything, serotonins, it just makes you feel so happy. Look at this smile. You can't not smile, can you, when you're dancing? <laughs> what actually came out of this weekend and what's come out over the, the series of months with the project is something quite different to what was in the original application because there was a heavy focus on the end result. What's come out of it is actually the learning process and the connections and the friendships that have been made throughout that whole time. It's so nice to actually have a whole bunch of women together mm. and it's something really just I don't know kind and of like family yeah. and very sisterhood. Yeah. 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 Sisterhood. Yeah. 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 sisterhood. And women understand you you know it's a different sort of understanding as nice as your partner might be or not it's you know to be in a group of women that's just it's just wow. We've had some really good moans haven't we? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> This is for us, this is for women, but we don't really care who else is joining us as long as we're celebrating the same thing. I was pretty honoured actually to be the, the honorary male within the group and for me it's about students and people wanting to learn. It's been a wonderful experience. You know, no matter what your size or shape or ethnicity yeah. or yeah. whatever, you, you can you just, just turn up together, and yeah. everybody accepts you for who you are mm. and you can just join in and be yourself. It's just, you know, it's just beautiful, really, just to have that freedom. Yeah, we're still here and we've still got it going on, you know what I mean? Don't write us off. We've still got lots to offer and actually passing down that message to the younger generation is that, you know, when you get to this age, don't write yourself off, you know what I mean? We've still got it. Final de semana Na casa de praia Só gastando grana Na maior gandaia Vai pra balada, no sapato estaca Com a sua tripa, até de madrugada